gonna do here, I'm gonna put a water hole in here. Back in this walnut tree here, I've got a ladder stand there. I've got a food source out here and we got good thick cover back behind me. I'm gonna, just gonna make it a small water hole. So we're looking to shoot it at about maybe four or five feet deep and 20 feet around. Just something to give them a little drink right here when they first come into the food plot. So. But I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna lay out a water hole. What I'll do is I'll pull the top soil back about the top in this area it's about six to twelve inches. I'll pull it back and you can see a different color in the dirt. If I get down to the clay it'll be more of a red or a lighter color. But I'll pull the top soil back and then I'll work the clay down to build the dam out of the clay. basically got the shape of it I want and got the topsoil off of it. Now I'm going to start ripping the clay out and stack it in the dam. The thing about the dam is I cleared, cleaned down to the clay because if you stack your clay on top of that topsoil, it will uh, let the water seep underneath and you'll lose your dam. So you always got to have clay packed on top of clay. Then I'll pack it down and, and track it in, make sure it's good and tight, cold water. What I did is I cut down a little bit on one corner. I don't do it in the middle of the dam or the dike. I do it on one side. That allows the water flow to go to this back corner and not just force out and maybe blow a hole in the dam. And then I've lined it with a little bit of two inch rock. Now, where this is located in the field, it won't get a lot of runoff and that's, that's key to this. If I knew I was gonna get a lot of runoff, I would put a pipe in it down through the dam and out the back. And this area right here is really only gonna drain about a three acre area right here in this field. So I'm not worried about a lot of runoff, just that little emergency spillway with a little bit of rock to slow the flow of the water going down where it won't cut a, a gully in the uh, dirt and wash out the pond or the water hole. And then I add a little bit on this end just to kind of slow the silt process of the soil coming in and washing into that pond. But in the middle of it, I'm probably three foot deep in the middle and probably 25, 30 feet around. But, uh, it's close to the woods food source will be all the way around it. I put the topsoil around the clay and then I went ahead and seeded the clover. I had a little bit of clover seed I put over the top of it just to give clover here. I shaped it so I can also get in here and keep it mowed with a tractor where I can keep the clover mowed and keep the weeds and little trees from growing in it and keep it looking nice. But it'll give them clover around the, the little water hole, gives them water source and then they can go out and feed in my bean and corn food plots.